Hi, today uh, we're going to look at, uh, take a short look at this guitar, which is a um, Gibson Les Paul Classic 1960. Now, these guitars um, originally came out in 1990, and they were um, kind of like, not a full reissue, but an idea of like a nod towards a reissue of um, 1960 Les Paul Standard. Um, it's interesting that they chose the 1960, um, as uh, a lot of people obviously uh, like the um, the mecca of uh, Les Pauls is the 1959. Um, so I'm not too sure what that is, but if anyone knows, uh, feel free to comment below. Um, so these, uh, yeah, they had some features which at the time um, Gibson on main production models hadn't really done. So they have like a, a smaller headstock, like the old um, the old original 1950s. Uh, Les Pauls had. They had uh, particular machine heads closer to the originals. Um, they had, when they first came out, the binding here was very thin um, and more like the original Les Pauls. And overall, it was, um, yeah, just a really, really beautiful guitar. And um, they uh, they had like slightly different pickups. Uh, they put more powerful pickups in. Um, so it's got like a 500T ceramic uh, humbucker. In the uh, in the bridge position, so uh, and oh yeah, and another thing, it does. This is actually a weight relieved guitar as well, so it does have weight relief. Um, just the I think the Swiss cheese uh, weight relief. So, uh, but it's still very weighty. Um, so I thought I'd do a video on it. I've had this one since two thousand and three, um, and it was like the first uh, well, the first bound Les Paul I ended up with. Before this I had a, an Epiphone LP and a, uh, a Les Paul Studio, uh, which I both still have. So um, I thought I'd just show you this. So it's uh, very beautiful. It's got the aged, some people don't like them, but um, it's got the aged uh, inlays. So they're slightly yellowish, but um, I always like them. Um, it's got a beautiful heritage cherry back and neck. It's also uh, got an inked on um, serial number as well um, like they used to back then um, then one thing they did put classic on the trust rod cover which um, you know just to signify you know it was based on an older older model and it also if you can see has um, this has Les Paul classic on the silkscreen logo logo and um, when they first came out they said model um, and I think this changed in 1993 so they started putting classic on because um, at the time as the story goes, uh, the classic was actually closer to, to like an old reissue than some of the reissues they'd started making at the time, um, you know, um, which I think uh, weren't quite as accurate. So, so yeah, they changed that um, to stop any confusion between the two. But um, yeah, just um, an amazing guitar. Uh, one of my favourite guitars that I've owned. Uh, as I say, I've owned it nearly twenty years now. So um, yeah, there you go. Uh, the Les Paul Classic 1960. Oh, and yeah, just the other thing, yeah, it does say, uh, as, as people might know, um, I can't really see it there, but yeah, it says 1960 on the, uh, on the pickguard, so there you go. Thank you.